We're putting solar panels on the roof today. Solar energy. This is the deck, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so game plan for today. We're gonna go over and grab the bus, get the panels up on the roof. Shouldn't be hard. Like, Are we going for a swim? <laughs> Do we wanna put them up there right now? Hey guys. We're Sean and Ash. We built a deck on our bus. <laughs> We're putting solar panels on the roof today. Solar energy. God, my little baby triceps. Oh my God, I still hate it. Listen to me, look at me. Every move you make up here, be safe. 100% aware at all. You know what, we still have a cute little deck. Like, oh, for sure. I'm not mad about it. No, not at all. This is our solar panel platform. This is our mini. I like the mini deck. Party deck. Mini party deck, that sounds dope. Now, the interesting thing is we discovered that these brackets are technically not big enough for our panels and Renogy didn't necessarily put any kind of size requirement for a panel to use these on. So it sounds kind of crazy, but we actually have to drill a hole into the frame of the panel. So that's terrifying, but. Okay? Yeah. Wow. Let me know if you need help. Thanks, Mark. Do you, do you, Dad, it's thundering. Do you think it's okay? I don't hear any thunder. I just heard more thunder. That's my man. Right. That's my man. Solar panel number one. I know you. I know you. This wood is not totally straight, but that's okay. Yeah, hold that, girl. I think I could take a fall from this height though. Yeah. What do you mean? I would tuck and roll. You know it's definitely like this because this is what you screw into the, the metal. Yeah, so you're doing it right. First one. Energy sends these with these brackets. So that's what we use to drill it in. And it's going through the wood and the metal frame. So these ain't going nowhere. So then we would take the other side of this one so that the panel lays flat on top of here. They're hinged and they could go either that way or I think ours will go this way. Okay. A quick appearance made to you by editing Ashley to explain why we drilled these holes in the solar panel. Solar panels come with holes on the sides of all of them that are pre-drilled for you. But like I explained, the brackets that we bought don't fit with the solar panel. So there was no way based on where the holes were to make it work. It just wouldn't have flipped how we wanted it to. So we gently drilled out our own holes and were able to install the brackets. It was terrifying, but it actually worked out really well. 
I don't know if we necessarily recommend doing it, but it worked for us. I'm hoping it doesn't have to come back. Why is it starting to rain again as soon as we get out here? It's only gonna rain for an hour. What's going on? Do you need help? Uh, this has to come this way. Basically, I've just got these bolts uh, felt through, of course. I'm just gonna put probably one here, one here, one here, and then I'm gonna have it connected to the frame somehow as well. But yeah, pretty simple. Watch this. In that little space at the end there, he's gonna create like a um, resting beam out of like a two by two or something. How's it looking? Looks freaking great. Woo! Oh. First panel, pretty much in. So one of the brackets is bolted through both the wood and the metal frame that's attached to the bus. And then the second bracket is bolted to the panel itself and then they get bolted together at a hinge. <laughs> Looks really good. Looks good, eh? Yeah. Let's see. Feels good. It feels sturdy, right? Yep. Well, anytime that you're adjusting these, I guess you have to be really careful that you don't lose anything. You don't want to over tighten it because they are Again, RV mounting brackets, so they're made with this cheap plastic crap that just breaks on you if your muscles are too strong. Yeah, so hopefully it's not going anywhere. Yeah, you want to do that one? You just need a... What go yeah, what goes on the, f the back? So we forgot this tiny little part. This is what actually can be used to lift up and support the solar panel while it stands. And that's how our solar panels tilt. All right, panel number two, going down. We used some nice silicone, silicone these bolts. And look who we have here coming through the hole. Hello. Wow. Looks nice, right? Looks awesome. Bad boys ain't going anywhere. Here's the two panels. Looks really cool. And this is still like more than enough room to sit up here and get around. So glad you got it welded like this. Yeah, this thing is yesterday i don't know if we really finished off that much but we got both of our solar panels mounted they're looking pretty good we're really excited and today we have a whole new list of tasks to take on all right so it's time to wire these suckers in i'm literally dripping sweat onto these panels but before I tuck this all away, I kind of want to explain what's going on. Each panel had a male end and a female end coming out of here. And then I have these connectors, which takes both male ends and turns it into one female end. And the black is negative. So then I just plug that into there and then there's 10 gauge wire that runs underneath here. That's where this is going. And the same thing for the hot side. So it was two female ends, and then they plugged into here, and we're off and running. So I drilled my hole, and then I put this coating, or um, conduit through the hole. So it's in there. Now I'm feeding my wires through my solar inlet. They go right through these holes, so you don't have to like undo any of this stuff. It said put it on a flat surface, but I didn't really have that available to me. It shouldn't be a problem. Not to mention, I'll probably install some sort of gutter system, which I want to do pretty much everywhere, but we'll see. Here's how I did this. It's nice, huh? I have 
tubing on both of these. This one's just a less, um, a lower gauge, I suppose you could call it. I put some great stuff in there just to ease the tension, you know? You wanna make sure that these gaskets are nice and tight. Obviously that's the watertight seal there. This is where I'm at now. There's my lines. Yep, definitely gotta clean up the silicone a little bit, but I mean, it's gonna do its job, that's for sure. All right, so kinda cool here. You can take our hot wire and our ground wire, and then you take our multimeter, connect our hot to our hot and our ground to our ground. But, yep. So that means the panels are working. We know where to collect the power just yet. We have to install our batteries, but it's a good sign. I know solar panels only work at like, you know, 95% or whatever it is. Rock and roll. Hey guys, next week we are going to have a nice how-to video of how we get our inverter, our batteries, and the rest of our solar system set up. So definitely tune in. Give us a nice thumbs up, maybe a subscribe if you're feeling, you know, frisky. But thanks so much for watching. Boom.